Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Today we are going to drill down with some of the slow DAX measures, find the underlying issues, and eventually make it blazing fast. Let's get into it. All right, I have this visual to show total sales amount by product name. But here, I am using the rounded net price for this calculation. With this measure, I would like to check how this visual is performing and how much time the underlying DAX query takes. My performance analyzer says it takes 522 milliseconds and DAX query alone takes 395 milliseconds. I will copy this query to analyze it. And for that, I can use DAX Studio. I will enable server timing, which will show me the time spent on formula and storage engine to execute this query and render results. This is my DAX query, which was generated by my table visual. Let me run this query once again to see how it looks like with formula and storage engine. All right, here is the breakup of time spent into these two engines. If we check out this scan, which was performed by storage engine, it created this callback ID. It means it is asking for help to formula engine to compute this round operations. Whenever you see such callback ID, you should look into the code and optimize it. Now let me define the measure used in it and try to understand the reasons. Here is the expression, which is used to calculate this sales amount. As that you can see, this sum x function is iterating over complete sales table. Instead of this, I can just use distinct values of net prices. And then instead of taking quantity, I can use calculate sum of quantity. This calculate will work for context transition, and it will make sure that it is returning the total quantity for each products, and then multiply it with this rounded net price. Now that you can see, the total time has been reduced to 93 milliseconds from the earlier 550 milliseconds. This may not be looking as major optimization in smaller data sets, but it will have huge impact on big data sets. Let's now move to our second example. In this example, this visual is showing total sales and total cashback given to the customers. This cashback percentage is mentioned in the customer's table for each customers. So I am using this DAX expression for this measure. As our first approach, we will look into performance analyzer and see how it looks. This visual is taking more than three seconds to load. You may want to retry by refreshing a few more times, but it is still taking more than three seconds and most of the time it is spending in DAX query itself. I will copy this query and jump into DAX Studio again and try to re-execute this query and analyze. Here, the first scan looks fine, but in second scan, it is again creating this callback ID and seeking help from Formula Engine to calculate this expression for each customer. Let's look into the expression and change it. Here again, it is iterating over entire customer's table. Since I need just one column from this customer's table, I will only take its distinct value as its first argument and try to re-execute the query. And the time has been reduced from 3500 to 2200 milliseconds. I can copy this new expression and replace my old measure with this one. I will also replace this expanded expression with my corresponding measure. If required, we can again look into the performance analyzer. As that you can see, it has reduced by more than half of the time. My last example is about a very common best practice, which many times we ignore to follow. In this example, I wanted to calculate the average price. I used this condition and then added below divide operator. This condition will save the expression to show output as infinity. Let's look into performance analyzer and see how much time it takes. I made it fast forward and it is actually taking more than 10 seconds. We can recreate this in DAX Studio and you will notice that it is creating multiple scans. Major issue here is, it is validating the quantity for not equal to zero for each row combination. And if you have more fields in the visual, it will become even more slow. To solve this, we can just use the divide function. Instead of using the divide operator, this function will take care of divide by zero issue. And it will decrease the query time. As compared to 10 seconds, it is now taking three seconds and it is doing just one scan. DAX performance optimization is very important especially when you have large data sets, these small best practices can make a huge difference. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.